Initial RTX 3060 Ti stock was actually a lot better than I was expecting, and overall RTX 30 supply seems to be improving. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So the RTX 3060 Ti just launched and it looks like an incredibly impressive card bringing you what seems to be just over 10% less performance than the RTX 3070 for an MSRP of $100 less making it in my opinion a much better buy. However, none of that would really matter if you're not actually able to buy one but to my surprise the RTX 3060 Ti supply seems to be much better than I was originally expecting though it's still not going to be easy to get for some time. So just before and during the 3060 Ti launch I had a lot of people telling me that supposedly the stock would be a lot better than the RTX 3070, 3080, and 3090. And to prove my point, I'm going to read you one comment that I see actually somewhat frequently where a user under one of the stock drop notifications over on Twitter had this to say, quote, this was actually in stock for a few minutes. Make sure you look at the correct bundle. And like I said, I've been seeing this type of rhetoric from a lot of different people. So it seems like if you go to buy a 3060 Ti, what I'm noticing is that you actually do have time to check out with it. Whereas if you look at cards such as the RTX 3080, I mean, you have maybe 30 seconds if you're lucky to get not only click the link get there you know check out enter your credit card information and get out when hopefully they won't reject it even after all that whereas you know if you look at the 3060 ti i've seen people saying like you know it was actually in stock for a couple of minutes maybe two three minutes which again that's not really a lot of time and it still shows that you know nvidia very much has a lot more demand than they have supply but it just goes to show you that as time goes on the stock is going to continue to get better for all the cards in the 3060 ti specifically you do actually have a decent chance of getting so if if you are looking for maybe an RTX 3070, I would consider potentially looking at the RTX 3060 Ti because, you know, not only is it a much better value card, but it has the same amount of VRAM and you might actually have a chance of getting one. Though saying that the RTX 3070 is actually also possible to get, I've noticed I was able to get one, my friend was able to get one. It seems like those ones you do have a little bit of time to check out with, whereas with if you look at the RTX 3080, that card is near impossible to get. But, you know, I've been seeing a whole lot more pings for the RTX 3060 Ti as well. Just over the last day, I noticed that I saw four pings and the stock drop bot over on Twitter of the RTX 3060 Ti being on stock. And I only saw two pings of the 3070 being in stock. And unfortunately for the 3080 and 3090, I didn't see any pings in the last 24 hours. So again, that's just one more example that yes, it does seem to be true that the 3060 Ti is going to have a lot more supply, at least in the short term here, and hopefully going forward than the 3070, 3080, and 3090. So again, if you're looking for a card, I would definitely give that one a look because, you know, for 400 bucks, it's actually a pretty good card. Now I know a lot of you that are here might be thinking okay that's great that the 3060 Ti is going to have a lot more stock than we were originally expecting but what about the 3080 what about the 3070 and what about the 3090 I mean I'm a lot more interested in those cards and I can't seem to get one and you're right especially the 3080 is incredibly difficult to get or has been but it looks like at least according to Nvidia's chief financial officer Colette Crest as reported by techpowerup.com which by the way there will be links to all my sources in the description below that it might actually get a lot easier to get these cards over the next couple of months if what they had to say during a recent technology conference is true and here's what they had to say quote we do have supply constraints and our supply constraints do expand past what we're seeing in terms of wafers and silicon but yes some constraints are in the substrates and the components we continue to work during the quarter on our supply and we believe that demand will probably exceed supply in quarter four for overall gaming now at first this doesn't sound very good because my takeaway was that yeah unfortunately Nvidia probably won't be able to meet the extremely high demand until at least the very end of this year but you know it does give me a little bit of hope because they didn't mention anything beyond this year so potentially we could be looking at and I've been hearing a little bit of rumors that you know maybe Nvidia might be able to meet that extremely high demand by quarter one of 2021 which yes unfortunately that's a little bit of ways away but you know if you absolutely must have a GPU right now it does seem like things are getting a little bit better and here's my advice on how to get one so the first thing you need to do is you need to sign in to all the stores on all of your devices so make sure that you're you know logged into bestbuy.com or if you have the app you know logged into Newegg all that sort of stuff you need to be logged in on all of your devices. Now, the second thing you need to do is that you need to potentially eliminate two-step factor authentication. Now, I'm saying potentially because I'm not doing this. I'm not going to risk it, but if if you're okay, maybe you have a PayPal account with it's not attached to anything, it doesn't have much money in it, and you're okay disabling two-step factor authentication. Obviously, if you don't have
have to have a, a code texted to you and then enter in that code just to purchase an item, well, then that's going to give you a leg up over a lot of other people like me who do have it enabled. Now, the third thing you should do to increase your chances would be to follow some sort of bot. Now, I'm not talking about a bot that goes out there and purchases things for you. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm talking about a bot such as the stock drop bots over on Twitter. Uh, that's the one that I follow. It's called, I think, at RTX bot. And essentially all it does is it gives you like little pings that show you when things come in stock. You click on it, you click the link, it brings you right to the page. And then from there, you can try and manually check out. So it's completely still manual yourself. It just gives you a better chance. It's a lot better in my opinion, than the auto notify stuff that you uh, do on websites. So like, for example, when I click auto notify on Newegg, you know, by the time I get an auto notify email, the, the thing is completely gone. Whereas, you know, I've timed a lot of different stuff and it seems like the RTX bot over on Twitter is one of the fastest. If you follow it and you click the link, it's only maybe, it seems like depending on the object, maybe five to 30 seconds late, whereas some stuff is minutes or even hours late. So it's definitely the fastest way to get alerts. And if you are going to follow it, make sure that you click the, I believe it's like a bell over on Twitter to give you um, push notifications over on your phone. So that's the last thing you need to do is you need to have your phone on you at all times. So if you're going out on a walk, if you're, you know, going to the bathroom, whatever, no matter where you are, have your phone on you at all times, because when you get that chance to purchase, it's still going to be not a lot of time. Now with the RTX 3060 Ti, yeah, you might actually have a couple of minutes, but it seems like with all these other cards, you have a matter of seconds. So you need to be able to pull out your phone, click that button, get to the link and check out basically as fast as you can. You usually have like less than 30 seconds. So that's how I was able to do it. Uh, if you follow all these steps, hopefully you will actually be able to get something that you want, but you absolutely cannot be picky. So you can't say, well, I want the 3070 Strix. You might actually not have that option and you might actually have to buy a bundle. Now, the good thing with buying a bundle over on website like Newegg is that you can actually potentially return the second item as long as you don't open it. So for example, I bought two bundles at one point uh, from Newegg. One of them, I actually wanted the bundled item. The second one that came with the RTX 3070, I didn't need another power supply. So instead of like going and trying to give it to a friend or something, I just returned it and I had to play. Uh, I had to pay like the restocking fee. Now the restocking fee is going to be like you know 10 to 15 dollars usually. It might even be a little bit higher. So that's unfortunately you're going to have to pay a little bit of money there. But you know overall, it's actually not a bad idea. So even if you have to buy a bundle with like a $200 motherboard, you can actually just return it usually but you should definitely double check that because if you can't return it and you're stuck with it and you don't want it well that could be a bad situation but again you can't really be picky and sometimes you just got to go for the bundle but you know overall i think the stock for all these cards is increasing in general i'm seeing a lot more pings coming into my twitter feed all the time it seems like the rtx 3070 especially is a lot easier to get than the rtx 3080 that one's definitely really hard to get and then now fortunately the rtx 3060 tie seems like it's going to be even easier to get now none of them are going to be easy but as time goes on and you're going into December and into January, I think you're going to have a pretty good chance of getting a card. And if you want one before Cyberpunk 2077, I think if you follow all the steps that I outlined, you'll actually have a decent chance of getting something you want. Now, you might have to go with a 3060 Ti instead of a 3080, but you know what? It's better than having no card in your system whatsoever. And you can always go and sell it to a friend later. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 3060 Ti launch and the stock of the RTX 30 series overall? Do you think that it's improving or do you think that it's getting worse? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.